Oh, Answer support, the question, right man. man. Um, yo, Chris. <laughs> telling you, dog, Such you're going to pull me. And yo, I why, you, come why back. you in the flesh, man? Get out the flesh. Be in the spirit. Walk so, in the spirit. Um, Walk in the ways of the Lord. Can world. I talk? Walk in the can ways I talk? of God. Um, I say it with love. Yes, I do. Listen. <laughs> yo, can you stop staring at me like <laughs> That glass is burning the side of my face, dog. It's, it's the light of God. <laughs> I represent the king of all kings, Elohim. Kind of like it's in my jeans, but if you really peep the seams, then it seems that if you check this tall, dark human being for something holy and clean, I got nothing to bring or to show. But when you look into my eyes, you see this gleam. Welcome to the Ted and Chris Confessional, where keeping it real can sometimes go wrong. Yeah, I do watch um, some rated R movies, but I feel like. Mm. There are some rated R movies that I don't watch. You know what I'm saying? That ain't good. Um, there are rated R movies that are like mostly glorifies um sex and mm. um the greats women. Um, don't watch movies like that. But Terrible. there are some rated R movies who have a uh, foul language and I, yeah, I do watch it sometimes with action and and, and, and um, um fighting scenes and stuff like that. I'm into that. Like, Confess your sins to one another, so God can cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So I do You're watch. Doing a good job. I do watch certain God is rated R movies like, <laughs> like that. God is pleased but, with you. Um, right now. But there are some other rated R movies I choose not to watch. As far as like you know, the naked and, and the sex. And, How can you watch a rated R movie and they don't have nothing naked in it? I would like to know. There are rated movies that don't have nothing naked in it. What there's movies? a bunch like with foul languages, oh, is with um um gory scenes that oh, be being cut open and stuff like that. Oh, I, I, I know. Yeah, I'm just telling you. It's been a while. I know it's been a while. There was no TV on on um the the the, the island you was locked up on. Wow. <clears throat> Next question. Next question. <laughs> Someone gave me $25,000, I'll pay off all my fines, all my, hmm, I would do a lot of things. I wouldn't go to no more strip clubs. What? You don't go to strip clubs anyway. No more. I wouldn't go. <laughs> yeah, but you don't go anymore yeah, got... anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I wouldn't go anymore. Oh, now. I wouldn't, Wait. I wouldn't but do that. You don't go anymore <laughs> anyway without the $25,000. I was, so I was in a situation. I was in a situation where I used to. I used to do a lot of. I used to do a lot of. Crazy I used to do a lot of crazy things. No, that's, that's. I used to do a lot of crazy things. No. Yes. I used to do a lot of crazy things. And I just like to say, twenty-five thousand dollars. The old me. I wouldn't do the old things that I used to do. So I would pay my tithes and offerings, and I would. Definitely pay all my fines off and everything. Fines. Legal fines. I was out there running the streets getting high. Legal fines. You know what I mean? Shoplifting charges. <laughs> I'll pay all that stuff off and start afresh. I open up my heart to you guys because it's needed. And that's what I would do. The old me, that's what I used to do. I used to go to the strip club. I used to go to strip clubs. I used to. I used to. My one of my dreams. Let me tell you my dream. Let me share my share my dream with you. Yeah, guys. One of my dreams, one bro. of my dreams before in my BC day. One of my dreams was I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Okay, and I wanted to be an entrepreneur. What I wanted to do was take a strip club, a strip club, and a hotel, and have a strip tell and then franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wanted to strip tell. Um, that's called a brothel. <laughs> yes. That's a, that's what I that was my dream, yes. Bef in my BC days. <laughs> See what the Lord will do. God is good, isn't he? He'll make a way out of no way. Um, 
I'm, I'm going to answer that question. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take as long as he did because he just said like 10 different things. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I would definitely pay my tithe and I would honestly focus and pray on whatever God wants me to do with all that money because I'm a very impulsive person and being impulsive is not good at all. So I would need God to just lead me and to tell me what to do with that money before I even make a decision. That's it. Sound good. Let me take that. Teddy, I'm gonna take this one. Yeah, that's all you. Cause you be cutting up. <clears throat> this is wise, but I say it with love. With reckless love. I don't be cutting up. You know. Not that. no more. Real talk, Teddy and Chris. Come coming soon. This is look, we struggle and we but listen, I'm not no I'm not no monk. I'm not a monk here. Bro. You was a bad boy, though. <laughs> Yo, Teddy. Teddy, I, look I, at me. Listen, look, hold on, listen. wait. Hold on, wait. You was a bad boy. <laughs> Yo, my boy used to get down. My boy used to get down. Used to. Not no more. You, yeah. Right. Used to. Thank God for that. Thank right? God for Jesus. He delivered me from that. My boy used to get down. <laughs> Well, anyway, so I'm going to answer the question. Pre-marital, the reason why pre-marital, premarital sex is bad, and I want I want to hone this. Get this. There's a reason why God wants sexual union. He created it. Sex is the best. Sex is the best. The reason why, though. It is. Um, when, when, when you have sex before marriage, you give... You 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 open up the door to sin, and you give Satan the legal right to come in and destroy your marriage. Even if you do get married, if there's sex before marriage and there's sin there and it's not been repented of, oh, because we're going to get married. Anyway. He's saying that's well, one of the consequences. That's a cons- That's the that's the consequence of the fall of man, sin in the world. But that's what opens up the door to it because you're doing. Um, sinful acts and you're doing you're having sex with multiple people you're not being you're not being clean and you're going from person to person to person and that's how that's how it's created all right Um, when Christ when Christ came and he did what he did for us right Um, he died for us he died for the church right automatically he married the church when he did what he did and that's what uh, a marriage is supposed to represent Christ's love for the church. That's why Christ says to love your wife as I love the church. Yes. And premarital sex is not loving your wife as Christ loved the church. That's yeah. totally opposite. Yes. So that's why that's not good. So get out of that. Get out your head. That whole I need to test drive the car <laughs> before I buy it. Because that's not of God. That was my thing, though. That, that was mine, too, <laughs> back in the day. But I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why that's very important. Because people will say, well, you got to test it. You got to test it before you drive yeah. it. You got to test it. But if you say that, you're you're taking God out of the equation. Yeah. Because if God is the, who is the creator of the universe, I'm pretty sure he knows who to pair you with. Yeah. So when the person that wife, he does pair yeah, listen, you with, listen, and, and, it's going to be the another best. Another thing too, I want you guys to understand, and I made that mistake in my past of be, believing somebody um, was God sent to me, or you know what I'm saying, or even with the job, any decision that you're making. Sometimes people are like, oh, this job, God, like, listen, if it's for you, it's already for you. It was, it's already written. All right, straight up. Listen, just want to say goodbye to y'all. Um, once again, God loves me. He loves Chris. He loves you too, and he'll save you in a heartbeat. Anything, Chris? Praise God. I represent the king of all kings, Elohim. Hey, anyway, guys, this is Crispy, the crispiest man out there. Hungry for the Lord, on fire for him. I want you to like, share, and subscribe. Real talk with Ted and Chris. Right now, right today. Do it. When you look into my eyes, you see this gleam when I float. He really hung up on that beam, no 